He's a fox! My boy's a fox! Damn you! A fox! I'm not sure what kind of factory you're thinking of. We just make boxes here. Hi everyone, welcome back to Comic Book Issues. I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek. Hey, it's time for another one of our unboxing videos. This time, the Marvel Collector's Core. Marvel has started their own subscription service, and this one, unlike the other boxes I've opened, is bi-monthly, which means it'll come every other month. And it'll be based on a Marvel property or movie. This one is Age of Ultron. The next box is going to be Ant-Man. They've already announced two of the items in here, so I'm not sure how much is left. I think they promised us a t-shirt, a pop funk figure, I hope I said that right, and two accessories. Uh, the pop funk figure is an exclusive to this box, Hulkbuster armor figure, and the one of the premium items is a variant cover to Guardians of the Galaxy team up. They promised an exclusive variant cover in each box. So let's head over to the magic table and see what they sent us. Now I don't mind saying this is the biggest box I've received of any subscription service to date, so uh, hopefully we got a lot of cool stuff in here. Let's see what they sent us. As always, just uh, be careful when opening the box. You don't want to damage anything that's in there. This is a pretty easy one to open. He said before having trouble opening it. There we go. Okay, oh, well, first off, right on the top here we have a Marvel Collector's Core badge with Ultron on it. And a Marvel Collector's Core pin with Captain America on it. Apologize for the shine there. So that's kind of cool. Right away we got a badge and a pin. Uh, there's comics on the inside, all the Avengers characters, and you have joined the Marvel Collector's Core. I don't think it's as cool as the Green Lantern Corps, but, you know, you take what you can get. Alright, here is our Marvel exclusive pop figure from the Age of Ultron, the Hulkbuster armor. We were promised this one. This is actually pretty big compared to, like, the Cthulhu one I got with my geeky goodies. This is a large one and exclusive to this collector's core. It's nicely, uh, nicely paint job. Nicely paint job. Nicely painted. Uh, really chrome paints on there. It looks really pretty cool. So, that's exclusive. Got a good heft. You could really chuck this at somebody and hurt them. I'm just kidding, of course. We'll put him over here. We have a Age of Ultron Dorbs vinyl figure. Dorbs vinyl figure. Let's see who we got. That's two figures we got. And again, the black packaging. Come on, guys. Come on. Just... I suppose it's to protect him, but he's in a box. How much more protection do you need? And I think... Oh, it's... It's Ultron himself, and he looks so happy. It's like an Ultron going squee. <laughs> you know, if this happy Ultron attacked us, we'd be much, much better off than the evil Ultron attacking us in the movie. So they've done a Marvel series and one in the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is their Age of Ultron series. Uh, maybe it was this is the same Ultron that's on the box, so I don't know if it's a random figure or if we all got Ultron. I couldn't tell you offhand. So then the t-shirt. Oh, I don't oh see, this is awful. This they put the comic book with the Guardians of the Galaxy cover on the bottom of the box. It's not bagged. It's not boarded. That's unforgivable for a comic book company to send me a comic and then just throw it in there and let the box tear it apart. That's just awful. They should have done much better. I've been waiting for this comic. I specifically didn't buy Guardians Team Up because I knew I was getting a free copy. But, man, that's just, that's just awful that they would throw it in there. It's all bent up. That's... Really shoddy packaging, and uh, they should know better. Let's take a look at the t-shirt. It's from Flophouse.com, and it's the Heroic Avengers. I'm going to move these out of the way here. I'll show you the one. It's kind of a fight t-shirt. Put all turn here. Kind of a fight t-shirt. It's the Avengers versus Ultron. May 2015, the Marvel Collector's Core t-shirt. Watch the Heroic High Flying Avengers. Hulk versus Ultron. No home TV. Oh, it's no strings match. That's funny. Uh, yeah, it's like one of those old fight posters. So, I 
apologize for this. Let me get this as out as best I can. Uh, it's not, it kind of goes from a black to a green for the Hulk. So it's not a bad t-shirt. Um, they promised me a t-shirt, an exclusive figure, and then four accessories. Which I assume... Uh, I'm sorry, two accessories. There's supposed to be four items in the box. So that was the Ultron and my bent-up comic book. And then I guess these were just uh, gravy. The patch and the pin. And uh, it's all kind of nice quality stuff, but, you know... Man, I'm really disappointed about that comic book. Let's head back to the comic wall. Well, there you have it. Uh, the t-shirt was pretty good, and I think the action figures are the best thing about it. That Hulkbuster is really nice. The Ultron one's a fun little thing. Uh, pretty good quality. Uh, the badge... And the pin, really good quality, but honestly, I don't need badges, I don't wear them, and I certainly don't wear pins. I know there are people who collect that sort of thing, so if you do, I'm sure you'll be happy with this. But the big thing against this box was how they handled the comic. I can't believe they just threw it in the bottom of a box that wasn't taped down. Somewhere, some executive decided, hey, we're going to cut a few corners and we're going to save a few cents by not bagging and boarding the comic. And for Marvel, of all people, to do that is just unforgivable. Uh... That really, really hurt my opinion of this box. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting the next one. I hope for Ant-Man with the next comic they send out, they fix that. But uh, just, I'm just shocked and disappointed that Marvel would just throw a comic in a box and forget about it. T-shirt's okay. Badge and pin are nice quality, but I don't personally use them. The figures are the best thing. The Ultron figure's a nice little thing. The Hulkbuster is the best thing in this kit. It's really great quality, and if you collect those type of figures, you're going to want to get into the Marvel subscription service. But as for me, I don't think I'm going to keep up with the collector's core, just uh, based on how they have treated that comic. Uh, really disappointed with how they treated that comic book. Okay, until next time, folks, this is Comic Book Issues, and I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek.